Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can create a service design and publish to a catalogue offering um, within five minutes. The prerequisites for this are you need a vCenter environment um, with the Linux customization specification file and a templated build of Linux. Um, you must add this into a cloud service automation environment and then associate HP's content, the resource provider, with the resource offerings. Uh, once this is all done, um, we can start with our build. So launch our administration console for cloud service automation. When we're in here, we go straight to the design tab. And in the design tab, you see all the service designs. We just want to give a quick out of the box vCenter compute example. So we want to actually, we want to go back to all service designs and just copy that. Select this and take a copy. Edit our copy and we'll call this a compute demo. And then in the designer here, the properties that you need to modify are the properties that OO are going to pass through to vCenter. So on this guy here, customization specification file I mentioned. Data center name, which in my case is from office DC. Disk size of the node you want to build. Compute 20 gig there. Host name at the generated self memory. I'm going to just go 1024. Number of CPUs, and again, you can make all these variables if you want to go to a more advanced service design. Go with a single CPU here. These are all the basic parameters that this service design, Edbox service design, requires. The OS type, which in our case is going to be Linux. And the template name that we showed at the start, which in our case again is Red Hat and POC. Template. So then that's what vCenter has, the thin template within vCenter that will be passed to it. And then that's all you need to do from the service design viewpoint. So now if you exit out the service design and go to your offerings, and now you create your offering from that service design. So you go to create offering, and then we see the compute demo with my typo. Give it a name, keep it consistent. And then here's where you can skin that um, service offering with your different pricing, different options, um, general information. I'll just quickly give it an icon. Save. And that's your service offering created. So now the final thing you need to do is just publish that service offering into a catalog. And I'm going to put it into the general catalog called the Global Shared Catalog that everybody can see. So if I select this catalog, go to my published offerings. Okay. Add offering. And then select the offering that uh, I've just created. Select the category. So I'll throw it into simple compute. Again, you can configure all these categories yourself. Simple compute. Add. Done. So now we can jump out of the um, cloud service portal into the consumer portal. And if we log in here, we'll be able to see that service offering that we've just created. Into our catalog, into simple compute, and there you go. So the user can select that. And request. And that's it. So. Thank you very much.